I'm here with winner John Curtis taking the seat for District 3. Congressman, thank you for joining us. Great to be here. Congratulations. You, Let's just start with your reaction to winning. You've kind of been on a campaign for a long time <laughs> here. You've won again for this seat yes. to go back to Washington. Two campaigns in one year. Trust me, I'm glad to have it behind me and looking forward to, to moving forward. Very, very good. So what's on your list? What have plans to do once you get back to Washington and continue your work? We have some pretty serious legislation in the hopper that we want to get through before the end of the year. And then, of course, turning an eye to next year and the landscape and making sure we're well positioned. Now, last night, they talked about the blue wave coming. And while it did not come in full force, you're going to a house that's now democratically controlled. So how do you go about that as a Republican and look towards working together? You know, I'm I haven't had a lot of experience there. So for me, this is not that unusual, if that makes sense, meaning everything is new and everything I'm learning from the start. And so we're going to learn how to deal with the Democratic-led House. And I think we'll be okay. I think we can still work together on bipartisan issues and, and do really good work for Utah. And that really is the important thing, that we're all Americans. And while we might not agree on things, we got to get stuff done. We, I, As I go around the district, that's what I hear almost the most, is can we just work together and get things done? And now let's talk about working together with your opponent. With this election, you guys kind of came together and said, at the end of the day, we just want to do good things for our district. Yeah, shocking, isn't it, that we were actually able to be civil and talk about the issues. As everybody knows, uh, we're, we're very different politically, but it was fun just to be able to talk about issues. Now, looking back at kind of the past couple of years, you've been busy campaigning. Now you look towards a year where you can just work. So talk about how that'll be different for you and how you're hoping to really focus on what you want to get done. It's going to be so nice not to have a campaign hanging over my head. Ever since I've been in, that's what I've been looking at. It'll be really nice to have a small break and just be able to focus on serving the, the residents in the third district. Okay, let's take a look at the bigger picture overall and seeing who won yesterday, who's still undecided, kind of looking at the Republican Party from Utah, talk about the results and what you were hopeful and optimistic with what happened. Well, I think we're all watching uh, Mia Love and Ben McAdams, uh, clearly a lot of interest, and we all knew that was going to be a close race. I've, I've enjoyed getting to know Congresswoman Love and working with her, and we've done some great work together. Served as a mayor with Ben McAdams, and we're all watching this closely. It's kind of one of those things we're just going to have to wait and see. It might still be days until we know. It, and unfortunately, I think we're, we're not going to know immediately. And those, I, I, my heart aches for those two candidates who just want to get on with their lives and, and see where they're at. One of the reasons why it will be a while is so many people voted. So let's talk about, as you look at the reaction of people voting across our state, why is that so wonderful? and kind of what's your reaction to that? Oh, we've all longed for that, that engagement. And I think we need to look back on this and, and, and make sure we're understanding what engaged them and seeing how we can keep them engaged in this political process. It's great to have so many people involved. Okay, so what's next for John Curtis? Back to Washington, uh, get back on that horse and, and charge forward. Fantastic, congratulations. Thanks, and thank you so much for joining us. Thanks very much.